Yo, what's up? What's going on, guys? It's Warrior Kenny, man. I just recorded a video for the pack opening. It's um, defensive players or whatever it it was. I've been waiting all morning for him. It is 11:27 p.m. Pacific time in the U.S. I've been up for about three hours. I've been waiting, and I recorded it, and I did not save it. And so I sold my Ibuki bets because I had two of them. I sold him for 10k. I opened up seven packs, and it did not even re save. So I didn't get any gold or anything. I got a lot of silver. I got uh, Adam Jones. I got Carlos Gomez. I got Yadier Molina. So you guys didn't miss out on a whole bunch, but but that just sucks, you know. So I'm going to be doing the roster update, the first ever roster update on my channel. Uh, I'm trying to be one of the, uh, the first on YouTube. I well, not really the first because it's been out for a while now, but here we go. Let's see how I do. First off, we got plus 12 for Carlos. I'm sorry if I mispronounce any of these names. I do know a lot about sports and a lot about football, basketball, and baseball, but I don't know this guy's name. Estev I can't even, I can't even uh, 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 pronounce it. But yeah, he went up 12. I don't know why he's 1 of 4, but anyways... We have, I'm just going to go with the most important people. This guy, he had three home runs and eight RBIs about a week ago. He went up plus six. I should have invested in him. I didn't, but he went up plus six, plus 15, and plus 12 in power versus righties and power versus lefties. We have Vance Worley. You may, I'm just saying, just saying right now, you may want to invest in him. Um, a lot of people have not been showing him love um, but he's been doing really, really good. So, just FYI. There we go. Also, we have CC Sabathia, man. This guy, except for his last start against the Rockies where he gave up five runs. He has been lights out to the old CC, man. The past couple of years, he's been kind of rocky, up and down, up and down, you know. But this year, he's been solid. His his record has not shown it, though. Um, five and four, but he's, but as you know... He should post below three ERA, which is really good for the AL because, you know, the AL has a lot more better hitters than the NL does, in my opinion. And that's how it's been for the past 10 years. And that's in my op opinion. I just bought seven of him last night for about 100. Now he's going for about 250. So there's already a profit right there, but I'm not going to sell him right now. I'm going to wait till he goes way up. So anyways, and next we got Wilson Ramos. This guy, man, I think this is his second upgrade. He <laughs> he has been a great catcher. Probably one of the probably one of the best in the league. He should be on the All-Star team whenever the All-Star game comes out if he keeps his pace up, man. Plus 7 Plus eight, plus four, plus six, man. And plus six in fielding, which you do not really see in these updates at all. Or plus eight. Sorry about that. You don't really see anything with the fielding or anything like that. Um, so, yeah. Let's see. Next up, we got Ichiro here. Ichiro, you can invest in him. He's really, really good. He has a lot of – well, not really a lot of speed anymore. But he's a really good fielder. Um, just be cautious because he is older and he may get hurt. Uh, he he hasn't really got hurt in 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 his uh, in his uh, career yet. But watch out because he is like 40 something, so he probably won't play a lot. And yeah. So anyways, next up we got Marcel Osuna. This guy has been tearing the ball off the cover. He has been taking the place of. John Carlos Stanton, 16 home runs, 41 RBIs, man, 315. I think he should have went up more. I I think he will be an 85 very very soon, maybe in about three weeks. So invest in this card. If I'm wrong, I will. I don't know. Just trust me on this. His contact versus righty should be about 75. His power versus righty should be about uh, um, the same. Man, it's just. He's doing really, really good. So on to the next page here. Xander Bogarts, baby. My guy right here. I own this card since he was like an 84. Man, I had faith in him and he came through. Man, 92 overall. Or 93 overall. Sorry, 92 versus righties. He got plus 5 and plus 9 power, man. 
So if he gets maybe 20 home runs before the All-Star break, he should be a 96, 95, which is kind of crazy considering he's like only like 23 years old. So, you know, like plus 15 stealing. Look at that. Plus 15. Ten, man, like this guy could be literally one of the best cards in the game. Invest in him right now. If if you have a lot of stubs, I mean more than like one 100k get like three of them or four of them he will pay off trust me brad batch i have 21 of this guy 21 it seems crazy but i got him back when he was like 10 stubs 12 stubs now he's up to 80 stubs so i'm doing really really good right now um he should go up to a gold if he keeps up his his uh pace he has a great whip great great uh mira the person who i'm surprised is not on here is uh is this guy's teammate he's also a pitcher um jason hamill or josh hamill or i forgot i think it's josh or yeah but anyways hamill's he's doing awesome so expect him to go up i think he's an 80 i have like six of him also six uh cards but we have, let me see here, Justin Wilson. He's been doing all right. I don't know why he went up so much. But anyways, that's just my opinion. Michael Waka, 3-7. and seven. I think he should be going down. But, you know, it is what it is. Ian Desmond, I have seven or eight of this card. Invest in him. You should have, if you haven't, you should because he's doing really, really good. The only thing that is a that is not good for him that may not make him go up to a 90 if he keeps up this pace with the power and his average is his strikeout 67 strikeouts minus eight vision he could drop down to maybe about f below 40 vision i got a friend re 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 request there i have no clue who he is but anyways uh we have fernando rodney here see this guy should be an 85 already mark my words he's he last night I was going to purchase him. I had about 12k. He was going for 1,000 stubs. Okay, 1,000. Right now, since he did not go up to an 85, he's only going for 300. So get him. I was going to purchase him like a lot, but I did the pack openings, which I didn't save, so I'm fucking screwed. But anyways, yeah. And then Mookie Betts, boy. This guy I did have two. I sold one. I should have saved it, but you know, I did it all for you guys, and you guys can't see it, but trust me, I did it. And, but yeah, he should be, a, he should be going up to a 92, 93, going into the next level. It says he's been doing really, really good in every aspect of the game. Uh, so, yeah, Andrew Miller, baby, I got him too. I was curious how come he hasn't went up a long time ago his whip and era has always been that low look at those strikeouts dude 54 strikeouts in 29 innings with three walks what the fuck like seriously dude his walk sh should be uh, a 95 his home run should be actually he's given up a lot of home runs for uh for uh 20 you know uh yeah, nine innings, but his walk should be like way up there. So <laughs> he should be probably the best reliever in the game, and I have him, so that's good for me. Let me see here. Clayton Kershaw went up again. Of course, he can't really go up higher than a 99. If, if he could, he would be the only 100 in the game. This guy is lights out, the best pitcher in the game. And, yeah, so. Sorry about that. I had to press my mic on real fast because it was making a noise. So anyways, let me see. Dylan Batinas, uh doing all right. Let me see. Let's go to the most important people. Aaron Nola. I sold this card um, yesterday for about 1800 I don't know why people are still paying 1800 for him, but today he's down to like 700 600 <laughs> So I got lucky because I knew he was going way down i thought he was going down down at least four or five he's been one of the worst pitchers other than james shields from the from the detroit tigers man he's given up so many runs in the past four games he was a phenom in the early of you know uh 
uh, uh, this year. Sorry, I have a speech impediment. Bryce Harper going down once again. Not surprising in my eyes. Um, see here, nobody there. It's really catching my eye. John Carlos, John Carlos Stanton went from probably I think he was a 94, 93. Now he's down to a 87. I think he was actually higher than a 93. I think this is second, not upgrade, but a look at that minus 20 durability, minus 10. Like he's Please just get rid of this card, man. Like, get rid of it. It's not going to help you at all. And Colton Wong, man. A lot of people don't talk about him, but Colton Wong, man. <laughs> what happened to this guy? 42 versus lefty. <laughs> 57, dude. He got plus 10 for, you know, uh, yeah, we're not striking out a lot, but <laughs> minus 8. So, anyways, that concludes this episode. Hopefully, I saved this one. If I don't, I'll be pissed because i got to redo it. But anyways, if you like what you've seen and heard, smash that like button. Also, comment down, down below if you want to see more from the show. Maybe you want to see me pl play against people online, you know, record it, blah, blah, blah. Or if you want to see me work the market because I can get about 5 to 10K easily each day with my team that's average. Um, so, anyways, until next, guys, peace out. And don't forget to, to subscribe, guys. Peace.